Okay, today we're going to be working on a Kohler generator. It's the version 7 underscore 3E. Thirty-one foot formula PC, um, and we're going to be replacing the thermostat today. There's nothing online from anybody that put up videos on to how to change the thermostat, so I'm figuring it out for myself as to the cooling system and where it goes. So the first thing I did was, um, if you look over here on this side, that's where the raw water impeller is. I changed that last year. Raw water comes up and goes into this tube. Raw water runs down here and there's fins inside here that the water doesn't get into this block. This block here is part of the cooling system which has antifreeze in it. So what you'll need to do is there's two bolts on each one of these. You'll need to get back there and pull both of those bolts out and these two bolts out. I suggested um, the way that I did it was loosen these bolts, the antifreeze starts to drip out. I put a container underneath and caught all the antifreeze as it came out. It does make a little bit of a mess. Um, and then once you get all these four bolts out, you can remove this whole thing. And there's the uh, impeller, uh, excuse me, the um, thermostat is right behind it. I've already pulled it off, so I pulled out the O-ring, which had a little bit of damage. It's going to need to be replaced. It'll come as a kit, but you can lift that up, lift that out of our way. And you can go down and just pull that thermostat out Let's get that thermostat out so you can go get it replaced okay so now we're gonna put the generator back together we got two new o-rings for here and here just lay those in push them in they'll stay we also went out I also went out and bought some new um, bolts stainless steel right at the hardware store for a couple cents to get rid of these old these old junky ones that are all rusted out we're gonna take the heat exchanger and figure out what side we need to go to Take our new thermostat and just place it in, set it into place. It'll sit right there. We'll then take the heat exchanger and we'll put this up against it and we'll put the bolts back in. Okay, now those bolts are back on. We're gonna take this hose, put it back on here. We're gonna take the hose over here, put that back on. And this is a new anode. There's a, up, if I didn't show you earlier, right up under here is where the anode goes. You wanna replace that at least every year. When I took out of here was just the nub. You just put that up in there and you just screw it in. And once we get those hoses back on and all these tight and the anode in, that completes our project. I did use a little bit of Teflon tape on the anode. 